Bubble Bowl Part 2. There's a pretty good chance many of you haven't even played or heard this game before because this is the rare, very elusive Bubble Bubble Part 2. It was released out in 1993. It's one of the final games released by Tato, you know, before they kicked the bucket on the original NES. Man, why did it take them so long? Because Bubble Bubble was a pretty big hit on the original Nintendo. You can play the original on the NES Classic. People loved it. People loved the two-player action. It was a very close to the arcade version. It was amazing. You know, a few years later, we finally get a sequel. Too bad that Nintendo was pretty much a goner at that point. So nobody played it, nobody bought it back then. It's one of the rarest original Nintendo games out there. It's gonna cost you a few hundred bucks. Sorry. I don't know, say you got like a few hundred saved up. And doesn't everybody have like a hundred dollars right now? <laughs> during the stupid pandemic. Hopefully I'm speaking now in the future and I'm super rich or hopefully I'm not dead, but we'll see. Either way, let's go back to a stupid review I got going here. So as you can see, it's a one to two player game, just like before. Yeah, there's a little caveat with that because it's not two players at the same time. Oh my God, that's a shame. That's what it's famous for. You get to compete with your friends, but nope. You got alternating this version, so that's a kick in the teeth right there. Yeah, thankfully in this new version, they did improve the graphics a little bit. Yeah, the graphics are definitely improved from the original because you got some nice detail in the foreground. You actually got some background graphics instead of like a black void. So it definitely looks a lot less boring and it looks more like an adventure game. And you got a few new tricks up your sleeve too because yeah, you can still trap enemies in your bubbles just like before and pop them for huge bonus points. But now you can actually create a bigger version of yourself if you hold down the button. Now the problem with this is, <laughs> yeah, it doesn't really do too much. Yeah, you can slowly ascend up the screen, but the thing is that if you know Bubble Bubble, you can jump on your own bubbles and you can do very quickly by yourself. So. You don't even really need this. I guess there are a few situations in later stages where it can be handy. But other than that, yeah, I just use my bubbles, jump on them. And yeah, it feels a lot quicker that way. Using this charge move to slowly ascend upwards. Yeah, it really slows down the pace of the arcade style gameplay here. Yeah, another thing that slows down the pace of the game is that once you have a lot of bubbles on screen, even though this is only a one player game now, it still slows down a lot. And you still got a lot of flicker on screen too. Yeah, despite this being a later release, yeah, you can tell that the NES is <laughs> really trying to cough out this one. Yeah, you can see when this game came out in the 1990s, the NES was on its last legs. Yeah, imagine how great Bubble Bubble Part 2 would have been on a more powerful machine, say like the Sega Genesis, TurboGrafx-16, Super Nintendo. All those systems have much more power than the regular Nintendo. Yeah, but did we get the sequel on those more powerful machines that were out at the time? No! And this is another reason why the game is so rare, because this is a original Nintendo exclusive. Now, I don't get it. Tato was making games for all three of those systems. But when it came to Bubble Bubble Part 2, one of their biggest franchises, for some reason Tato said, one and done. Might as well put it in the archives, never talk about it again. It never existed. It's just a weird thing. It's still a good game. Like, I'm jumping, killing enemies, trapping them in bubbles, but you got more interest in bosses, good stage variety. It's still a very good playable game but it's not as good as the original. And that's because you don't have a password feature. You don't have the ability to, you know, stop your game and say, all right, I'm done. I gotta see if I can play the editor levels like tomorrow or something. No, you can't even like write down the password. I was shocked because once I got game over, that's pretty much it. Yeah, what was the coolest thing about the original? Not only the two player co-op, it's on the original Nintendo, so they decide, okay, there's like way too many levels. Why don't we just have like a password feature so people can play it later? That's not in Bubble Bubble Part 2. Why take that out? This is a very long game with a lot of tricky puzzles and levels to it. 
so it's hard to beat it all in one sitting. But Tato said, nope, no password, take that out. Yeah, when I think of Bubble Bubble Part 2 here, I think a lot of missed opportunities because there is a good game here. They could have done so much more when this game was released. Bubble Bubble Part 2 for the original Nintendo, it earns a 71 out of 100. Still fun, still like, you know, popping those bubbles and everything. And I love the fact that this is a nice rare game and they touch up the graphics and music. But other than that, yeah, it's still not as good as the original game. This game is just begging to be on a more powerful machine. Yeah, it's like sour lemon candy. It's still candy, it's still pretty good, but yeah, it has a bad aftertaste to it. But yeah, just don't pay up the ass for it because you're better off with the cheaper original. But hey, that's just me. This is Aerosoft World Champion, over and out.